In this video, we're going to see how to change the color of multiple objects with Photoshop Elements. We'll see how to go from this to this. Hi, I'm Rick Peterson from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Let's go over to Elements and get started. I'm using Photoshop Elements 2018 for this video, but it'll work in other versions as well. This tutorial was inspired by Herb, who sent me an email asking how to change the color of multiple objects at one time. The example he gave was to imagine you have a blue and red polka dot background and you want to change all of the blue to yellow, but there are 100 dots that need to be changed. Can this be done? The answer is yes, it can be done quickly. To illustrate, I created this image in Photoshop Elements of blue and red polka dots. I don't have 100 blue polka dots, I only have 75, but it'll work just as fast if you had 100 or even a million. Let's start by duplicating the background layer. To do that, press Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC. I'll do that now. You can see over in the Layers panel, we have an exact duplicate of the background layer, and it's named Layer 1 by default. Now let's set our foreground color to the color that we want to change to, which in this example is yellow. So we can click on our foreground color, which we learned in my last tutorial, is this top square located at the bottom of the toolbox, which is currently black. So let's click on the foreground color now. And when we do, the Color Picker dialog box appears. And I know that I can get pure yellow if I type 255 in both the red and green fields. So I'll click once in the red field, which is labeled R for red, right here. And I'll type 255. Then I'll click in the green field, which is labeled G, and type 255 in there. And you can see at the top of the dialog box that our new color is yellow. So I'll click OK to close the color picker and accept the change. And now our foreground color has turned yellow to reflect our change. All we have to do next is to select all the blue polka dots and fill them with the yellow foreground color. A good tool to select a solid color like our blue is the Magic Wand tool. It's located in the bottom right corner of the Select section of the toolbox, but it shares that space with some other selection tools. So right now the Quick Selection tool is there. To access the Magic Wand tool, first click on the Quick Selection tool, which I'll do now. And then we can go down to the Tool Options. In the version of Elements that I'm using, there are five tools represented by these five icons and they all share that same space in the toolbox. The Magic Wand tool is this icon that looks like a stick with a big yellow star on the end of it. So I can make it the active tool by clicking on it down here. When I do that, it now shows up in the lower right corner of the Select section in the toolbox. And we can tell that it's the active tool because it's highlighted with a gray background. The reason that the Magic Wand tool is a good choice for us is because all you have to do is click once and it will select the whole area that is the same color as what you click on. So I'll click once on this first blue circle and it selects the entire circle, which is great, but it only selects the one that we clicked on and we have a total of 75 blue dots that we want to select. And if I click on the next blue dot, this one, that dot becomes selected, but the first dot is no longer selected because by default the Magic Wand tool is in New mode, which means every time you click with it, it makes a new selection of your last click, and that replaces your previous selection. There's an easy solution to that, which is to go down to the Tool Options and find these four icons. These represent what mode the Magic Wand tool is in. Right now it's in New Mode, which is this first icon. But when I click on these other icons, we can see that we have Add, Subtract, and Intersect. We want to keep adding to our selection, so I'm going to click on the second icon to put it in Add Mode. You can also tell that we're in add mode because now there's a little plus sign next to our cursor. So now I can click on that first dot again. 
and it becomes selected as indicated by the marching ants but the second dot is also selected so we could just go through and click on each dot one at a time until all 75 were selected but there's a much quicker way. In fact, we can select all 75 blue dots with just one click of the mouse. Before I show you how, I'm going to go up to the Select menu and choose Deselect by clicking on it. So, Select, Deselect. And that takes away uh, the selections that we had just made. So now we're back to having no selections. The secret to this one-click selection technique is also located down in the tool options. And it's this box right here that's labeled contiguous. Contiguous means that it will select everything throughout the entire document which is similar in color and tone to where you click as long as those pixels are touching each other. Well, in our document, the blue dots are not touching each other. They're spread out throughout our image. To show how contiguous works, I have this other image open, and I'll go to it by clicking on its tab at the top. This is exactly the same as the other image, except I added some lines between a few of the dots. It's important to note that the lines are exactly the same color blue as the dots. I'm going to zoom in on that area so we can see it better. Now, with the magic wand tool, I'm going to click once on that first dot right here. And you can see that the four dots that are connected with the lines, and the lines too, are all selected. That's because those areas are all the same color as the spot that I clicked on. I'm going to deselect that. So select, deselect. And let's make the eraser tool active by clicking on it. So it's right here in the toolbox. Now I'm going to erase part of this blue line. Let me make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to erase right there. I'll click on the magic wand to make it the active tool. And again, I'll click once on that first dot. And you can see that the selection ends where I erased the lines. That's because the other dot and part of the blue line are no longer connected to or contiguous to the place I clicked. So that's how contiguous works. Let's go back to our original image by clicking on it in the tab. And I'm going to go back down to the tool options and turn off contiguous by clicking on it. So right now it has a check mark in the box meaning that it's on. So I'll click on it to turn it off. By turning off contiguous, we're telling Photoshop Elements to select every area in my image that is the same color as what I click on with the magic wand tool, even if those areas are not touching each other. Let's see if it works by clicking once on that first blue dot again. And hopefully you can see in the video that all 75 of the blue dots are surrounded by marching ants to indicate that they're selected. Now to change them to yellow, all we have to do is go up to the edit menu and choose fill selection. And the fill dialog box appears. Go to this use field and click on it. And from there we can choose foreground color. So we're telling elements that we want to use our foreground color to fill our selection. And then click OK to close the fill layer dialog box and accept our change. And all of the blue dots turn yellow. Exactly what we want. Now we're done with selection, so I'm going to deselect by going up to the select menu again and choosing deselect. And I can turn this layer off and on so you can see there's the before and there's the after. Now it took a while to explain how everything works, but now that you know, you could do it in a minute or two. The main thing to remember is to turn off contiguous before clicking on the color that you want to change. I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, this is Rick Peterson from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.